Cold, cold. Um, perhaps we can wait for one more minute and then we get started. It's all right. Let's see if more people will join. Yes, Tedora, thank you so much. Hello, good to, good to see you, Nelson and Claudia. Hello, Raquel. Uh, hello, uh, yes. Raquel. Hello. And Manuela is there. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Raquel. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Yeah, fine, thank you. So um, perhaps we can get started and hopefully more people will join us. Um, so good afternoon, good morning uh, to everyone. Thank you very much for uh, joining us in our webinar. So today's webinar is uh, Miri's looking at Miri's membership, boosting research and innovation in health, agro-food and environment and energy. Um, and the webinar will be an hour and 15 minutes. And this webinar is, um, an activity of IS Miri 21, a Horizon 2020 project together with collaboration uh, with another uh, Horizon 2020 project, RIBIS, and also uh, with experts from the Ferry Network in Portugal. So uh, quickly housekeeping and disclaimer. So the results of this webinar will be used uh, to inform IS Miri project and, and its outcomes such as deliverables and press release. And as uh, you might have already heard that this webinar is recorded and we will take screenshots. However, if you do not want to appear in the screenshots, please, uh, you can turn off your camera and you can also let us know by email or in the chat and we'll find a way to obscure it. And um, also um, participants, we ask you to please uh, post your questions during the presentation on the chat. Um, we will collect, sorry, I believe um, someone is not muted. Okay, thank you. Um, to please uh, post your questions in the chat and we will address them during the Q&A session, which will come at the end. And, please also to mute during the presentation so there are no interruptions. And if you happen to have uh, difficulties with the platform, uh, you cannot speak or you cannot um, access anything you cannot see, please let us know so we can see how we can help you. And for the speakers, I will inform you uh, when, if we happen to be running out of time um, so that we can move on to the ne next presentation. So the agenda, we have the welcome um, and introduction to speakers, which is taking place now, which will be followed by introduction to IS MIRI project and MIRI um, as a research infrastructure and how MIRI has been uh, collaborating with other research infrastructures in Europe, Latin America and other countries. Um, and also uh, followed will be uh, MIRI membership. So we'll look at the benefits and the procedure on how to become a member of MIRI, uh, followed by opportunities for collaboration, looking at the Horizon Europe opportunities, uh, specifically Pillar 1. And then the floor will be open for Q&A and we'll close. So the aim of this webinar is first of all to bring uh, MIRI's value to, to light, to show how MIRI can have impact in research and innovation across the world. It's also to inform uh, different actors, uh, MBRC, CCs, um, experts, how to become a member of MIRI, contribute and also benefit from all its resources. Um, it's also to encourage international cooperation among different actors, different uh, from different continents and using funding sources that currently exist, such as the Horizon Europe. Okay, so uh, today our speakers, uh, we have Nelson Lima from University of Minho, uh, Portugal, that is the coordinator of Horizon 2020 project IS Miri, and we have Joana uh, from IAP, 
which is from Poland, and leader of the MIRI membership task under the Horizon 20, uh, 2020 project IS MIRI, and Daniel Karapan from the Foundation for Science and Technology um, from our um, pairing network, uh, uh, network experts. So um, I, uh, this is the quick introduction and I give the floor to Nelson who will uh, present the next topic. Okay, uh, thank you, Tedora. Uh, good afternoon and good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to see so many faces that uh, for the pandemic situation we are now so far away to, to meet together. I hope that uh, in near future we start again, uh, our activities we start again to meet together and to discuss uh, our business uh, as uh, as before. So today I'm the, I have the pleasure to introduce you the the Isomiri 21 project and Miri as a research infra infrastructure. So uh, let's start with the, the the project that is now running from the first February to. Uh, 2020 that uh, and uh, it will finish at the end of January of 2023. The, this is a, a project that uh, is funding by the European Commission under the uh, uh, Euro Horizon uh, 2020 program. And the Isomiri 21 is it was designed and it was proposed and now is uh, is ongoing uh, with a, a clear uh, idea uh, that is the implementation and sustainability of microbiome resource research infrastructure for the uh, 21st century. So uh, uh, this uh, justified acronym Isomiri uh, 21, and it's. Uh, 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 intimately connect with the MIRI itself uh, and to support the MIRI activities. So far, the, the consortium uh, of this uh, project uh, is led by the University of Minho in Portugal, and I'm, I have the, the honor to be the coordinator of this uh, uh, amazing team. Uh, that comprise uh, 14 uh, partners and 80 third parties from nine European Union member states and one associated European country that is the uh, Russian Federation that has previously signed the MURI Memorandum of Understanding. So all the partners were previously connected with the, the MURI itself. So uh, the, the the main mission of uh, of this project uh, that is ongoing uh, is the uh, implement the the MURI and uh, secure its long term sustainability. Uh, and with this in mind, uh, uh, MURI uh, and ISO MURI twenty one is a very well uh, user center. Uh, because the stakeholders are uh, uh, pivotal for, for us. And uh, uh, why? Because we want to provide the, uh, to the stakeholders a, a broad range of high quality biological resources and associated data. That is uh, the main core and for many years uh, uh, that our partners uh, doing well, but in an isolated way now or in Frank fragmented way. Now we are put together uh, all these partners to work at, uh, at a, a different level of organization and in a, a single uh, shop site and uh, with a single voice at, uh, at European level and beyond of EU. Long-term sustainability of micro, uh, microbial uh, di diversity that we preserve and uh, the, uh, all the activities that we perform under this umbrella. And of course, uh, uh, develop the bio, biodiversity and the knowledge and the professional uh, with, with the training and uh, education programs 
and uh, supporting with the cluster experts and all the expertise and service that we are able to provide to the stakeholders. Uh, in between, uh, many of you, we are aware about uh, what MURI is, because uh, MURI is a, a research infrastructure to, to uh, as work to be, uh, to be recognized uh, as uh, also a legal entity uh, at European level. Uh, we start with a preparatory phase of MURI in uh, some years ago. To, uh, to, 2012 uh, until 2016, but the concept start uh, in the European roadmap of um, of research infrastructure from 2010, so uh, more than uh, 11 years ago. And the MURI uh, comes with the, the idea to develop a multifunctional virtual platform that we call a collaborative work environment and uh, it aims to inspire excellence and drive collaboration across borders and disciplines to preserve and exploit the microbiodiversity in the world. So, uh, MURI applied uh, to become a, a legal entity uh, as uh, under the ERIC concept, European Research Infrastructure Consortium in 2018 and currently we are under the final uh, uh, step, uh, second step, uh, negotiations with the European Commission to be uh, ERIC and we expect during this year to, to get this uh, label. That is also quite important to uh, full operate this uh, research infrastructure. And of course, the long-term funding commitments and long-term sustainability and the enlargement of the MIRI is quite important is the reason because on the project, uh, ISOMIRI 21, we uh, have this uh, uh, as a main objectives. Uh, the project is, uh, it was designed and uh, is now uh, is uh, ongoing uh, with uh, 10 uh, work packages, mainly nine work packages, because the last one is related to the ethics requirements and the data protection. But the other ones, uh, the WP1 is the quite uh, uh, the normal the, the management, but they, they are uh, several projects, uh, several work packages, like the work package six, that is very important, that it is related to the development of the collaborative platform, and the WP8, the enlargement membership and the consolidation, the, the, the current membership. Of course, the dissemination and outreach is quite important, uh, training and education, as I said before, and the transnational access and the research strategy are key elements in all this process. Uh, I don't go into details because we have pillars uh, and transversal work package uh, that some of them are related to the implementation level and the other ones operation level and all partners participate in different levels of the organization or as a work package leader or uh, task leaders. Uh, the, the governance of the project is, uh, is also a, a common governance at the European uh, structure uh, project, but uh, I wish to emphasize the uh, management back office. Uh, because uh, and the uh, general assembly advisor board and the ethical board why uh, and then the of course the work package leaders why because at the, the muri side we have a more complex uh, governance uh, bodies and structure uh, in a vertical way we have the decision making uh, bodies that is the assembly of members that are countries or the representative of the countries, uh, supported by advisory board and the ethical board in uh, parallel of what is ongoing with our uh, EU project. We have the CCU MURI that is the management back office uh, uh, currently, national coordinate forum that uh, is the forum where we have all the uh, 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 national uh, nodes uh, represented at national level and on the base of the culture collection of the MBRC and other service and providers and experts. 
So currently we have the CCU, uh, that means that is the management <laughs> back office operating. Uh, that, uh, that means that we are approaching for the final stage of the and uh, make the preparation for what we expect when became ERIC, the CCUs, the Central Coordinate Unit operating. And now we have the Luis Suarez as uh, uh, director, uh, executive director, uh, and uh, um, Juan as secretary, uh, Basson with the financial and uh, manager project. The access officer is Lilian that is based in the Institute Pasteur, and the IT officer is uh, based on the uh, Valencia University in Spain. Because uh, as you can see in, the, uh, in this diagram, the headquarters is mainly uh, uh, located in Portugal. However, we shared part of the hub uh, the, the, the hub and the informatic support with the, the University of Valencia in Spain. So we are now uh, coordinating these activities. Myself and the uh, Armando Venancias, uh, deputy uh, uh, of the uh, of the project support uh, from the Isomuri support all these activity and make the linkage between the project and the Muri itself. So uh, the main outputs that we uh, want to achieve are develop and launch the collaborative work environment. That is the, our platform. Establish a, a, a very uh, um, interesting and um, uh, uh, well organized transaction access program. In fact, we finished the last the, the first call. Uh, Establish also the education and training programs and enlarge the MURI uh, membership. So far, we, uh, from the MURI side, we have the, the 10 uh, uh, partners, 10 countries, but um, we are moving forward. And now we have at MURI level uh, Romania as observer. That uh, uh, is also important. Uh, uh, from the MIRI side, we have more than 50 microbial uh, research centers uh, connect with us uh, that uh, uh, totally uh, uh, combine more than 2,800 uh, 2, years of uh, solid operation in work with uh, more than 400,000 microbial resource uh, uh, as holdings in a, a very diverse taxonomy groups, which means that we have a, a very uh, start point for work with excellence uh, and to be an uh, uh, excellent uh, uh, research infrastructure at the European level. Um, the, the work, uh, the, the, the platform, the CWE platform is uh, now, is a, a, a ongoing and but is now open to the to, to the public is uh, is available and uh, through the muri website and uh, they have uh, four doors main four doors the gate for research infrastructure information that uh, give you the access of the uh, main information the access of the day-to-day -day, uh, scientific information to the public the gate of microbial resources, data and service, and you can find here now the catalog and uh, the, uh, that we are now uh, put all the, uh, together the, the different catalogs in one single catalog and in one site shop. Uh, the collaboration of expert cluster is uh, also uh, moving quite well and the training and education. So, uh, to finish the, my presentation this part, uh, I wish also to address that uh, the, our target audience of the MURI and the project are different stakeholders, the policy maker, potential members of MURI, the, uh, the lay citizens, the microbial resource providers and scientific and industrial microbial raw materials users. So that are also the key elements in our uh, in our aims. Uh, 
how we split these or break down these, uh, this table show you the, that the, the different service and integrated service, the transaction access, the expert class, cluster training and education, scientific publications and the policy documents or scientific uh, science communication materials for lay citizens. We uh, uh, try to provide uh, the, the uh, different uh, and to address this in, in different ways and uh, uh, covering, uh, covering the, 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 the different stakeholders that I said to you. To follow us, please, we can uh, uh, follow in our websites, ISOMIRI 21 website, or MIRI uh, website. This is not exactly the same as you, I expect that you understand. We can uh, follow us as our in you know, social media. And I uh, uh, try to push uh, uh, that uh, you uh, uh, actively uh, subscribe our newsletter and follow us in the, our social uh, media. If you have more uh, information or you want to contact us, please use our info uh, uh, at muri.org email. So I will stop here. And I have uh, uh, another presentation that is connected with the uh, relationship with the, uh, the uh, America, Latin American. So let me stop here and share the other screen. Okay. So uh, now I, I will speak a little, a little bit about the collaborations uh, uh, with other research infrastructure, infrastructure at the European, uh, Latin America and others. The topic is quite huge for 10 minutes, but I will try to summarize the key elements. Of course, as I, as I, I told you, Miri now, is uh, as uh, 10 uh, countries as prospective members and uh, Romania with the observer with more than 15 uh, organizations uh, uh, covering different uh, taxonomic groups and different uh, activities, service uh, and uh, uh, connections with different uh, fields. But when we put all together, we uh, can say that we uh, cover quite well the cutting edge technology from the sampling uh, to the uh, to the BL, BL, BSL free or high security facilities to handling infection strains or toxins, uh, cultivation and cultural mix. We can also have a, a very cutting edge technology. Uh, for rebirthing of culture techniques and high throughput uh, cultivation and also real-time isolation with micro manipulator, optical uh, tweezers or uh, cell sorting for uh, when we use uh, fluorescent uh, marks or labels. Uh, when we go to the isolation and uh, for uh, cultivation and uh, identification and uh, characterization uh, pad, we have also uh, we cover uh, I also uh, the cutting edge technology that goes from the high throughput screening, the uh, enzymatic and. Uh, using robotically conducted physiological potential and biological activities, micro, antimicrobial resistance, toxins activities, and so on. For the identification, of course, that we cover a quite range of uh, technologies that uh, goes from the um, uh, uh, mass spectrometry using Malditoff or uh, 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 also uh, whole genome sequencing and microbiota analysis or even more in detail we are able to make uh, the fingerprint and tax taxonomic marks or scene expression using the PCR technology. And when we go to the final uh, step of our uh, value adding chain of our, our activity, we have the bio, uh, bio resource, the, the holdings and the data associated with the technology that 
cover the, the main uh, activities that go to the long-term uh, preservation, cryopreservation, freeze drying, DNA encapsulation, and so on, uh, covering the uh, eye expertise also, it's not only technology, but the expertise to use these technologies and the data that more and more we uh, uh, follow the, the FAIR principles and to make the, the data accessible, find the uh, interoperable and uh, reused. And of course, supporting with the statistic measures Machine, uh, machine learning and bioinformatics. This also created the, the potential to, to organize what we did uh, some, some weeks ago, one month ago, that we delivered the, our uh, strategic research uh, innovation agenda for the, this decade that is uh, related with the seven strategic areas that uh, combine uh, the health and food, agro, agro food and environment and energy. Of course, that we can see here that we support these uh, seven strategic areas with the biodiversity, biotechnology, bioeconomy, sustainability and one health concepts. And of course, uh, 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 paid uh, paid uh, from the, the, our expertise that comes from bioprospecting, uh, preservation, cultural mix, uh, taxonomy, digital ser service and fair data, legal and regulatory is issues and standards. Uh, at the European level, we see uh, uh, MURI in a different uh, way. Of course, that uh, on the past uh, MURI, it was a, a small square. Now we have enlarged our activities and our synergies with different uh, um, uh, research infrastructures in different levels. So, uh, of course, that we connect activities with Elixir, EuroImage, uh, of course, relate with the uh, MBRCs, that is the Marine Biological Resource Centers. Uh, the BBMRI uh, is also uh, related with biobanks, human derivative materials, uh, as some of you know well. Also, uh, we have uh, some uh, connection with the infra frontier arena that is high pathogenic microorganism, open screen for uh, screening uh, uh, new compounds and bioactive compounds and instruct also. So we uh, all, uh, we are now working together more and more and participate in different calls of the uh, European project. At international level, MIRI is always connect because all members of the, the national nodes are members of the WFCC and at European level also members, uh, men, uh, men of us are also members and quite active at, at uh, ECHO. Uh, the European Culture Collection Organization. <clears throat> but we are making a lot of efforts with, to make a connection of, with FELAC, that uh, is the Latin America Federation for Culture Collections. And we uh, did uh, on the past, uh, maybe one month ago, some uh, uh, workshops uh, with the FELAC and quite successful. And FELAC represents nowadays uh, more than 50 public and private collections spread by 10 countries. So it's quite important to, to keep this in touch and uh, MURI co cooperate and collaborate and uh, make the potential for the, this, uh, um, this work and make this more visible also, the, the collaboration. We are work with the Chilean network of microbiocultural collection, uh, RCCCM, I, I saw uh, Claire here, here on the on the audience that uh, cover uh, quite well the, the country, the, this uh, network, but uh, also the Brazilian uh, research uh, bio, uh, biological resource center network, and I saw Manuela also that uh, normally represented the the network of Brazil is welcome, but uh, at the same time we need to deal with uh, the, some difficulties that is uh, the how to participate and maybe later on we can discuss, but uh, because Brazil, for instance, uh, we have the federative government uh, and the state, uh, state government. And uh, if uh, nowadays from the federative government we, are, we, we don't have a, a strong connection, uh, from the state uh, governments, uh, we have several uh, 
uh, proposal to cooperate uh, and to reinforce this cooperation. And we are quite keen with this and we try to address this situation. At the same time, uh, a lot of different societies and associations and organizations are uh, connected at uh, as the uh, Vero American Network of Research in Mycology, RIMICO, uh, uh, the Brazilian Society of Microbiology that is quite active and they have a, a very strong culture collection section that we always uh, keep in touch and we share the experts and the uh, promote the the Muri also in the sorry uh, in the in the in the activities of the 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 Brazilian Society of Microbiology as well as with the Brazilian Society of Mycology. Uh, Fiocruz Brazil, uh, Manuel is again uh, here and uh, she comes from Br uh, Fiocruz. Now at, uh, we have an approach with uh, the International Laboratory in Science and Technology, sorry about the editing problems, and Innovation for Health that is uh, established in Portugal and, uh, and they try to spread at the European level. And we are we started the, some uh, negotiation to cooperate MURI with uh, this uh, international laboratory uh, uh, that is also host uh, in Portugal. So this is what is ongoing and uh, the, all are welcome to join us and many other activities are well are going well, but uh, we need to put all together and uh, make this more visible and take the benefits of this whole collaboration. So thank you for uh, uh, your attention and uh, I pass the floor to Tedora or direct to Joana. Yes, Joanna, please uh, go ahead and share your screen. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, now I would like to say a few words about the memberships, uh, membership, the benefits and the procedure. Um, as uh, Nelson said, uh, so I won't be replying. Um, the MIRI uh, stakeholders are well defined and are categorized in five areas. We are used to meet the needs and expectation of different stakeholders depending on the categories and taking into the account the individuality. So I uh, will start with the benefits uh, for the individual organizations like MPSCs, culture collections uh, and research infrastructures. Um, the participation in MIR may bring uh, several benefits such as become more competitive uh, provide improvement uh, services as a result of exchanging knowledge, standard operating procedures, quality management system and best practice, um, sustainability improvement and improvement of data um, associated with the microbial uh, resources by connection to the MIRI information system and increase the accessibility um, to the capacities taking advantage of the higher profile uh, comfort by the MIRI grant. As for the um, benefits for countries, uh, for each uh, member, uh, member country participating, MIRI will enable them to uh, coordinate and mutualize comprehensive set of uh, resources and services for the benefit of the European research area and its scientific community. Um, we will stimulate the, the scientific and technological development of its region, boost the competitiveness of the products and services development in the different um, sector of uh, biotechnology and will act as a catalyst and investment of uh, and job creation and obtaining key insights for strategic planning and uh, policy making. As uh, it was mentioned before, uh, MIRI is striving to establish a European Research Infrastructure Consortium, ERIC, 
so according to our Miri Eric status, the EU member states, associated countries, third countries and other countries, uh, associated countries and intergovernmental organizations may become a member or an observer of the, the Miri Eric. Who uh, and how became a member? For, uh, for any country or international uh, organization that wish to um, become a member or observer of the Miri Eric shall issue a written uh, request to the chair of the assembly of members in English, uh, describing how it would contribute uh, to Miri Eric tasks and activities and, uh, and how it will respect the obligation of members or observer uh, according uh, to the article 14 and 15 respectively. The application then shall be examined by the assembly of members in consultation with advisory board and the admission shall be subjected to uh, a decision by the uh, assembly of members in accordance with, accordance with uh, article 17.7b. And the chair of the assembly of members inform the applicants in writing about the decision of the uh, assembly of members, uh, either it was admission or refusal decision. Based on the article 14, the member shall commit to a minimum term of five years of membership in Miri Eric uh, and will appoint up to three delegates for the assembly of members and indicate one of them which will uh, with the voting rights on behalf of the member. Also will establish a national node and appoint a national coordinator. Through the national note, uh, the partner coordin uh, the, the member coordinates partners uh, that will facilitate access to the biological resources, related services, and associated data. Um, finally, uh, member also will follow the rules concerning the use of the Miri Eric grants for activities performed within the framework of Miri Eric will support the mission of MIRI ERIC and the implementation of the MIRI ERIC work program and will make an annual financial contribution as it is specified in uh, Article 25. As for the rights of the member, um, the member will uh, have a right to participate in the governance of Miri Eric and notably in the meetings of the assembly of members with the right to vote and will propose and elect the members of the bodies of Miri Eric, withdraw from Miri Eric uh, in accordance with accord, uh, Article 16, uh, give the access to Miri Eric and its services and data to its research community, community according to the rules of operation, let uh, its research communities uh, participate in the adaptation of relevant uh, to Miri Eric standards and best practice recommendations and participate in all activities of Miri Eric. As for the observer, uh, the observer, based on the Article 15 of the Miri Eric status, uh, has the right to participate, but without the voting rights, in the meetings of the Assembly of Members, has the right uh, to participate in uh, certain activities of Miri Eric uh, identified by the Assembly of Members. Uh, the observer uh, is admitted for the period of two years and may apply only once for an extension of two years of the observer status. And the status of the observer shall terminate upon the admission as a member or upon the withdrawal or termination of the observer or after the end of the observer status as provided for under paragraph three. So um, in conclusion, what the MIRI membership can offer is to be a part of the large and dynamic uh, laboratory 
to exchange uh, professional knowledge, provide a wide range of resources, services, ex and expertise, what is important in a centrally coordinated way, to gain uh, visibility of the, on the international arena, to play a unique role in the European scientific realm, research and innovation landscape of uh, food, uh, health, agri-food, energy and environmental sciences, and to contribute uh, to the implementation of uh, relevant challenges and to strengthen Europe's industrial competitiveness. So uh, I hope I uh, didn't extend my time and this short way was uh, able to briefly uh, bring you this uh, topic and thank you for uh, your attention. Thank you, Joanna. That, that is perfectly spot on. So um, the next presentation will be from our expert and uh, from Net Perrin Network, Daniel Carapau. Okay. I leave the floor to you. Hello, thank you. Uh, good morning or good afternoon, depending where you are. Uh, let me try and share my screen. I guess you can see it now, right? Okay, so uh, I want to thank the, the organizer of this organizers of this uh, session for um, for the invitation for FCT to give a presentation about uh, uh, opportunities in in Horizon uh, Europe. Um, it is a pleasure to talk here in this session about the first. Uh, European research infrastructure that will have its uh, headquarters in Portugal. Um, so uh, uh, maybe there will be more, but Michi is the first one. Um, so um, my name is Daniel Carapau. I work for the National Science and Technology Foundation. Uh, and FCT is part of PERIN, which is the Portugal in Europe Research and Innovation Network. Uh, so it's the uh, group of agencies that are responsible for the promoting Horizon Europe uh, in Portugal. And uh, I am one of the national contact points for, for research infrastructures. The other one is my colleague, Marta Avranch, who could not uh, do the presentation today. So the, the, the work program for research infrastructures of 2021 and 22 will be published very soon, uh, any day now. And the first calls will open already next week, uh, in principle, uh, one week from today, on June 22. Uh, there have already been two calls for uh, COVID-related, uh, COVID uh, but those have already closed. Um, so for the sake of time, I have selected a few topics um, that I will show you, but first, uh, general um, information about the research infrastructures program, which is included in pillar one of Horizon Europe. Uh, it aims at uh, uh, consolidating the European Horizon ecosystem, increasing access for researchers across European Union. But this includes access uh, of European researchers to Horizon non-EU uh, countries. Uh, also training and then improvement of services, uh, networking, joint services by uh, groups of uh, infrastructures and developing uh, cutting edge instrumentation software methods. So um, the five main uh, 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 objectives are, are shown here in this, uh, in the bottom of the slide. So uh, since we are, we have in this session uh, attendants from, from South America, uh, uh, I'll briefly go into uh, the issue of participation of uh, third countries. So countries which are not European Union or associated countries. Um, this is possible for these countries to participate. And usually uh, it is uh, described in the, the text of the topic the situations where it applies. So these are the two most common uh, descriptions you, you will find. Uh, so the first one is that uh, arise from third countries may be involved when appropriate, in particular when they offer complementary or more advanced services than those available in Europe. So this is one uh, situation. 
And then another one, which you can find simultaneously in the same topic, um, considering the union's interest to make accessible to its researchers the most advanced uh, arise wherever they are in the world, legal entities established in Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, Mexico, uh, among others, etc., Russia, which is part of MIRI, uh, which provide under the grant access to their RIs to researchers from member states and associated countries are exceptionally eligible for funding from the union under this topic. So um, either RIs that are open to receive uh, researchers from Europe or when there are services that are complementary to those uh, being provided in Europe, the, in these situations, uh, the, they are welcome to, to participate in the, in the applications and, and to apply for, for funding. Um, so the, as I said, the calls, the first group of calls, uh, not the ones related to COVID, but the more general calls will open, uh, should open next week. Uh, uh, June 22nd, and they will be open until uh, September. So you have three months uh, to prepare these uh, applications. Uh, there are four groups of calls, but I will talk about just the serve calls, which are focused on the provision of services in different uh, thematic uh, areas. So the, there are uh, all these uh, topics included under the serve call. Uh, the first five uh, will be very competitive because they will fund only one project in each topic uh, and they have specific themes. So cancer, agriculture, environment, circular economy, and then one more uh, social uh, studies and economical studies. So I will just talk about the zero 02 and zero 03 for the sake of time. Uh, which I uh, uh, am aware Mihi is interested uh, in this call. So RI, the 02 is RI services for a sustainable and resilient agriculture and agroecological transitions. Uh, it aims at integrating and providing transnational or virtual access to interdisciplinary RI services to support research and innovation in view of achieving a sustainable and resilient agriculture and support agroecological transitions in line with the One Health approach. This shall be relevant to provide evidence to restore biodiversity, increase efficiency in the use of resources, and prevent future crises. So the funded project shall establish links with the missions uh, on soil health and food, and uh, the other mission, which is adaptation to climate change. And I will uh, talk about this mission at the end. Um, then the serve 0103 is another topic um, that might be relevant for the audience. Um, it's a research infrastructure services for responding to climate related risks on the environment. Um, so the funded project will aim at bringing together complementary uh, infrastructures to provide access to an integrated wide range of services, observation models and experimental platforms necessary for cross-disciplinary R&I addressing climate related multi-hazard risks uh, in Europe. Uh, and it shall develop interoperability among the different RIs. So most of the topics they request that multiple RIs apply together and that they work together uh, to provide a wide range of services. Um, then I will skip to serve 06, which, um, uh, we'll fund three uh, projects, so not just one, but three. Um, and it's enabling research infrastructure services for better use of imaging data to address challenges in thematic research areas. So uh, shall make available high performance image analysis tools, including those based on artificial intelligence. Um, the proposals are expected to offer services for improved analysis of imaging data in different areas, such as environmental monitoring, life sciences, chemistry, physics, and others. And finally, 07, which I'm mentioning uh, because uh, it is dedicated to frontier knowledge uh, and will have different topics in different years. And I'm uh, calling your attention because one of the three topics this year is the biosphere. Um, so uh, 
this topic, uh, this topic 07 aims at providing transnational access and our virtual as access to integrated RI services for curiosity-driven research offered again by a variety of complementary infrastructures. Um, so uh, the only description so far is that the, this biosphere is meant for terrestrial biodiversity and ecosystems, including Arctic and forest. This is because the oceans will have a different uh, topic uh, uh, later on uh, in the program. So again, three projects will be funded under this topic. Uh, so the topics I mentioned until now uh, are open in, uh, will be open this month in June until and close in September. This is the calendar for the remaining of this year and a half, so until end of 2022. Uh, and uh, among these, I will just um, mention one that I think might be of relevance, which opens next year in January. This is under the InfraTech um, calls, uh, and uh, it's called uh, Research and Development for the Next Generation of Scientific Instrumentations. Uh, so it has the aim of delivering innovative scientific instrumentation tools and methods, which advance the state of the art uh, infrastructures and show transformative potential in ARISE operation. The related development should lead ARISE to support new areas of research or a wider community and or a wider community of users, including industrial. So I'm mentioning this because um, this uh, call, well, first, firstly, because it will fund 11 projects, which is a high number compared to other calls. And um, because it is supposed to fund uh, groups of at least three world-class research infrastructures. So meaning uh, they can be either, um, excuse me, either uh, European, so from the S3 roadmap, or uh, located in other uh, parts of, of the world. Um, so each project will receive between five and 10 million euros. So I will uh, show you just a diagram of the, the calendar for this year and a half. Uh, this is just the research infrastructure calls. So this is a subset uh, uh, within pillar one of uh, Horizon Europe. And I'll show you in the next slide the, the different uh, parts of Horizon Europe or pillars. Um, so uh, I remind you to please check the specifications of each topic regarding participation of third countries. And you can uh, find the text in this link. So I guess the slides uh, will be provided to you. So uh, you will be able to find here the document Horizon Infra 2122, which is the current form of the, and most likely will be uh, very close to the um, form of the work program that will be published uh, soon. Uh, maybe the dates uh, might change, but uh, not, not more than that. Um, so to conclude, uh, I, I just want to say that I just show you the research infrastructures part of Horizon Europe. Uh, which is under pillar one, which is the excellent uh, science. As you can see in the bottom uh, uh, graph, uh, pillar one uh, has allocated uh, around one quarter of the, the total budget of Horizon Europe. Uh, and the pillar with the, with the largest uh, part of the budget is pillar two, which is um, the societal challenges uh, pillar. Uh, so more of a top-down uh, approach. And this pillar includes six uh, clusters, which are listed uh, here. So uh, many that interest Miri, like health, uh, climate and uh, energy, or food by economy, natural resources, agriculture, and the environment. So, uh, and then you also have five missions um, uh, selected by the commission. So soil health and food, cancer, then two related to climate changes and the healthy oceans mission. So uh, you should also look into the pillar two uh, uh, calls uh, related to the clusters, missions, or the partnerships uh, for other uh, opportunities for funding. 
So um, the, these are our, our contacts um, and you can find more information about other, uh, other parts of Horizon Europe in perin.pt. Uh, and you have here uh, two links also for additional information for the programs that uh, FCT uh, is responsible for, for its promotion. So pillar two is promoted by the uh, National Agency Innovation, ANI. So you can see that in perin.pt. So thank you very much and I'll look forward to any questions. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Danielle, and uh, also uh, Joanna to the uh, your presentations. Uh, connect with my uh, initial presentation. We finished now this part, and is now uh, time to open the floor for the Q and A questions and answer, answers. So please, uh, uh, we expect. Uh, uh, from your side, uh, from the participants' uh, questions, uh, and you try to address uh, uh, your uh, answering uh, your questions. So uh, the floor is open. You can uh, put uh, on the chat uh, your questions, and uh, we try to address them. Um, Nelson, so we have received yes. uh, one question already. So I'll read it out loud. Um, could you please explain if MIRI only supports bio-related research? My area is atmospheric science. Do you have um, something on those lines? Uh, e yes, e in fact, uh, MIRI is related with my my microorganisms, my microbial resources, and the interconnections uh, with the, the, this field. Uh, from the atmosphere, uh, we have the different um, uh, research infrastructure that can uh, be more appropriate for your interests. Uh, of course, that the um, um, this, as I, I said by chat, uh, also the the atmo access is a research infrastructure related with the different disciplines associated with the atmosphere. However, there are also other uh, research infrastructure that they cross this uh, as a uh, embryo. Uh, I don't know if they are, maybe Daniel, maybe a, a, another, uh, a, a, a different la landscape or picture of this uh, research infrastructure that, that going uh, on the other fields that not uh, relate directly with the uh, health and food, but uh, uh, so far, uh, I, what I remember is that they are this research infrastructure more connect with the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, is actress. Um, uh, yeah, that's the only one I remember now. I think there are. Mm. Of, yes, but. Uh, Maybe they are a possibility to explore this on the web page of, of uh, S3. Uh, yes. uh, so the S3 is the European Forum uh, Strategy Research Infrastructure, S3, that has a, a wonderful web page that collects all the, the different research infrastructures in the different stage. Of, a, uh, of the maturity and as well as the different fields and the connections uh, to the, the, the different fields. So in this sense, uh, if you are looking for different uh, the disciplines that uh, are out of the, our scope, please use S3 and search uh, uh, there uh, the most appropriate for what you are looking for. Yeah, so the, I put the, in the chat the link for the roadmap 2018, and uh, in September, I think there will be a new roadmap, the 2021 SP roadmap. Yes, ICOS is also very important. Uh, yeah, um, the integrated carbon observing system is another atmosphere uh, infrastructure. Okay, okay. Um, thank you, uh, Nelson and Danielle. Uh, we have another question from Ana Pinto. Ana Pinto, if you would like to say it out loud yourself, please feel free. Um, uh, or I can read it on your behalf. 
Okay, so maybe I can read it. Uh, does MIRI support a health-related research like that related with aging uh, slash cancer and the uh, uh, microbiome? Uh, good question. Uh, yes, we are much more connected with microbi microbiome itself. Of course, that is a, a cross-cutting uh, studies and uh, disciplines again, and uh, all the research infrastructures are welcome uh, well the, these intersectional uh, studies and uh, cooperation with different research infrastructures. In fact, we have another research infrastructure related with aging uh, and the cancer. Uh, in, in fact, we are also nowadays involved in this, not leading uh, 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 the, the, the area of cancer because it's not the, the, our core business, but uh, uh, as everybody knows, or at least most of you knows, that uh, they are cancers that are that they have the, uh, the the microorganisms induce the cancer, like virus or uh, other activities, or the uh, bio uh, bio compounds that we can uh, uh, extract or we can use from the microorganisms can be used also for uh, treat the cancers. So in this sense, we have these connections, and we try to explore all these connections. So uh, uh, MIRI itself is not uh, relate or not connect with one single project uh, with aging uh, microbiome and uh, cancer. But uh, if they, they are uh, an opportunity to make a project or sub submit a project in this, uh, in this field, connect the different expertise that comes on the different research infrastructures, of course, that uh, we welcome this will participate with our expertise and services and the other research infrastructure will do the same combined all these at european level and of course beyond of european level okay uh, thank you nelson um apart from that we haven't received any more questions uh via chat maybe uh, we can open the floor to see if anyone would like to ask directly Um, we just received one more question. Do we need to be a partner to participate in projects? Who hmm. we want to to discuss this? Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> good, good question. Depends of the level of the participation again, and uh, it depends of the what the the partner or potential partner can provide for the project. This is something that is always quite important at the European level and at, uh, in the European projects. So, um, in fact, uh, the, the MURI itself could, uh, could participate as, as legal entity and uh, inside of the MURI, some partners could uh, through the MIRI can participate in this project. Other other pa partners could participate in another projects. So is a um, um, it depends of the situations and the combinations. Is a multi approach uh, situation according to the expertise or the service that we can provide and facilities and the cutting edge technology that we have to 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 provide the excellence because all the time uh, is not all, all what we uh, provide and what we are doing sh must be underlined that the excellence is, is the key word but also when we organize a project the excellence is a, a key element in all the projects so this uh, needs to be addressed quite well. In this sense, when we have difficulties to cover some aspect or some subject that nobody is able to organize or to 
cover this uh, expertise and some partners outside of MURI uh, can cover, uh, of course, that uh, could uh, be uh, invited to participate as a single partner and combine this with other partners. So this is the, the, the most important uh, point is to have a clear idea and the, the the picture, the landscape well organized in terms of the what we can provide, the expertise that is unique and in the complementarity of the other expertise. Uh, because if we provide the same uh, as the other ones, uh, maybe I will, I will not be invited to, to provide this because we have full of expertise and we have many uh, partners that inside of MIRI or in another research infrastructure that can provide this. But if I have a single unique expertise or a single and unique access to the, the material or a unique and a single cut edge technology or information or whatever that can add value to the whole project, of course, that uh, you are uh, you will become an important partner for the the, pro the whole project, and this is uh, the way out to work together. So, the complementarities and uh, the uh, expertise, unique ex expertise, uh, to 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 make the the proposal and the project a sound and excellent project. So, uh, in conclusion, what I advise uh, you is to identify clearly where, not identify everything that we can do, but uh, what we can do as unique and with excellence to, to make uh, your in institutional profile attractive and to, to be a, a, a natural partner in, in some projects. This is a, this is a, an exercise that uh, all in, uh, organizations need to do, in this sense. Um, we have one more question. Um, so, does Miri expect to open cooperation based on integration to Latin America? Example: establish pilot initiatives of microbial catalog integration with the existing microbial CCs. Uh, networks from Latin American countries. Well, uh, clearly, um, yes, uh, we have, uh, as you know, uh, uh, this is not a naive question, uh, I'm sure. Uh, uh, of course, th this is quite complex, but uh, 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 the, 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 we can address this in in different in different levels. For instance, uh, as you know, and some of you knows well, Muri because the, some of you uh, follow Muri from the preparatory phase, and in, in other projects uh, that w the the same consortium uh, where w we work all together. So. Um, the integration uh, is something that we address in different uh, levels, uh, like the global catalog of microorganisms under the WDCM uh, WFCC, or the strain info, or uh, at more related to at European level. So we, we can integrate, uh, of course, and uh, this is that th this needs to 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 accomplish some rules. To have some uh, uh, training and some uh, uh, sharing experience, of course, that is not only a problem of interoperability that uh, uh, we need to overcome uh, uh, some difficulties. That some uh, that, that is technical difficulties, but they are here also uh, political uh, difficulties difficulties and funding difficulties. We need money to do this and we have we have a, a kind of uh, uh, a memorandum of understanding or uh, a, an approach that legal binding these uh, these uh, uh, sharing uh, uh, this integration uh, to uh, uh, to for a more uh, to 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 move towards what we to have a, the 
set of a global biological resource network, GBRCN, uh, that is uh, because NIRI uh, could be uh, seen as a, a European node of this global GBRCN. Uh, yes, of course, that uh, the cooperation is open. Uh, um, we are now moving at uh, internally, uh, moving in our catalog, in our integration of our data. Uh, because uh, we have also to, to, to define some uh, principles, some rules and quality control and quality insurance that is uh, essential for the, to perform this activity uh, because we need to rely and to, to keep the trust in what we are doing from the, the stakeholders uh, side. So this is quite important. So I, I think that uh, um, uh, I see this uh, as a, an important element. Uh, it's not for tomorrow, uh, of mm. course, but in the near future, I see that, that there they are plenty of room to explore these integrations uh, and, um, and the catalog. Uh, we need also to explore not only the catalog, because these give a visibility and a, a one side shop and an easy way to find the biological materials, but later on we also to 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 establish a very well defined standard operation procedure to understand how they the 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 research uh, the biological research centers uh, uh, provide the biological material. Not only provide the information. Information is one part that is quite important. If you go to the metadata analysis and so on, well, it's wonderful. But if we connect this to biological materials, we need also to understand that the biological materials needs to be available, needs to be supply in a, a, in a, a in a correct way and in a very defined way, in the standard way, with the, the in the in a nice time frame or reasonable time frame, and also the price and costs. Uh, we will not address this yet, even inside of Muri, but of course that the other partners that will join us, of course that they they need to to keep their own activities. They keep. Uh, maybe the, the price list and they they only to connect the, the information and the using the, the our platform this is something that uh, needs to be explored but again uh, a lot of work is necessary to to do and uh, based in a, a memorandum of understanding uh, to 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 promote and to move forward uh, with this uh, is this idea. This is not a, a easy task, Gladi. Um So maybe we can extend this Q&A for a little longer because we have um, another question. So this is a follow-up to um, the question that was about how um, if we need to be a partner to participate in projects. So uh, the follow-up question is, is this a criterion to be uh, partner also. Um, by criterion, I mean a unique expertise and co complementarity, uh, as Nelson said. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm not sure if the question is clear. Um, would the person who asked it like to uh, speak up and, and and explain perhaps. Okay, so the, um, the person has said we can leave it, it's fine, we don't need to address it. Um, yes, uh, do we have any more questions? Um, so if not, I think that is time to, to finish this uh, webinar. I wish uh, to 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 give the floor to Theodora to give a very short uh, uh, introduction about the next event, please, Theodora. Yes, thank you. So, so um, I will quickly share my screen. Um, so. 
Uh, first of all, we have an, an anonymous survey, so we will post it um, in the chat. And this is just a quick survey, which will only take three to four minutes to fill in. Uh, we would like to gather your um, your interest, what you thought of the webinar, what you have gained from it, and what you would like for us to present in the future. Um, and also for our next event, so that will be um, in uh, next on Thursday this week, so on the 17th of June, from the same time, starting at the same time, from two to four CS. And this time it will be a workshop. We will be looking at um, international collaboration with MIRI through new opportunities in the Horizon Euro program. So today we looked at pillar one opportunities. On uh, Thursday, we'll look at pillar two opportunities, specifically looking at uh, health, food, agro-food, environment, and energy. So we will have experts from um, the pairing network who will present on these specific um, topics or opportunities. And we will also look at the MIRI strategic research and innovation agenda that was published in uh, March this year. So this is available on the MIRI and IS MIRI website. Um, it is also in the chat if you would like to um, browse. And uh, we will look at the seven different uh, strategic areas that we have for MIRI. And this will be presented by three uh, partners from the IS MIRI project, including University of Nino. Um, and um, the final, goal will be to create synergies with different research infrastructures, um, different organizations, experts in order to jointly pursue Horizon Europe calls. So um, the registration for this um, event is the same as today's. Um, please, it's open. If you would like to register, feel free. And uh, the links will be shared with you tomorrow. So um, that is all I have. and. Um, Perhaps Nelson would like to say the final words. Yes, thank you, Tedora. Uh, I fully appreciate uh, the first of all the, the participation of um, Tedora that supports us and the SPI uh, partner uh, that supports this uh, this work, uh, as well as all the members of the management back of the, of Isomiri Twenty One and Slash CCU Muri. Uh, I wish also thanks to Joanna and Daniel to participate and to clarify these uh, these points and to address these important points to attract and to motivate our partners from Latin America to follow MURI and join MURI and work together. This is a key element for us. And uh, for uh, you that uh, you take your time to participate in this webinar, I wish also thank you for your participation. And uh, of course, that if you have any uh, additional question, please uh, don't hesitate to contact us using the, our official uh, info uh, at uh, miri.org email or our personal emails if, if you know our our personal email. So we'll try to address your questions and uh, uh, to explore the synergies of uh, the activities that we all together want to perform collectively and uh, in cooperation. So thank you so much. I stop here and uh, I wish you a very pleasant day uh, and I hope to see you face-to-face uh, -face, uh, soon also. And bye-bye. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. See you. See you, Soon. Manuel. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> How do I bye find bye. the link? How do I find the link to the next session? Next session. Yeah, Don't I noticed in the chat that a number of people are having difficulty finding the link for this session. We, um, we, did, we never received anything um, giving us the proper links. At least I know I did not. Okay. The, the link will be shared with you. If uh, Have you registered for the... Oh, yes, I've registered. I, I've been getting all information, but I have not been getting links to the session. 
Okay. And I okay. noticed in the question and answer, there were a number of people looking for the link. Um, in that case, we will send, if you have registered for the workshop on Thursday, we will send the links uh, by email tomorrow. No, but I mean, the session is come. the welcoming session is coming up in a few minutes. How do I join that? Ah, ah this is the uh, every uh, this, uh, this oh. uh, an another okay. another one. Yes, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, don't worry about it. I know you're busy. I'll figure something out. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> so this, this is another uh, this is another event. So you, you try to yeah. find uh, the the address the in a, uh, the link in another email, not relate with this one. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah, okay, I'll, must, I'll find it. Yeah, you must like, receive um, a, yeah, you must receive a a, a link uh, from um from uh, Wova dot com okay. is a okay. platform that uh, we are going to use for for starting the the RIVs uh, symposium. So it's okay. uh, Wova. It's W H O V. Oh, yes, I have you yeah. right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So All right. This is a platform. I'll... Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry to be <laughs> such a pain. <laughs> no, okay. Okay. No problem. Session. Welcome. <laughs> Great session. Thank you. Uh -huh. okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you, Raquel. <laughs> yes. Are you welcome? <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye. you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Oh.